In this video, we will show you how to change the oil in a Toyota Highlander. The same process is used on multiple Toyota and Lexus vehicles. First step is remove the oil drain plug and drain the oil. Next, we're going to remove the oil filter. In this application, it's easiest if you use a filter designed specifically for Toyota makes and models. Now we will actually remove the filter that will be replaced. It's on the inside, pull it off, and then we're going to install the new oil filter and slide it in just like Phil is doing there. And now we're going to remove the O-ring. Pulling off the old ring, there will be a new O-ring in the package with the oil filter and you simply slide it into the groove. Now we can reinstall that oil filter, hand tighten it until we get to the point where the oil wrench fits on and tighten it to about 18 foot pounds. Now we can reinstall that drain plug, 14 millimeter wrench at about 15 foot pounds to make sure it's appropriately tight. Now moving to the top side of the vehicle, we install six and a half quarts of zero W20 synthetic motor oil a screw-in funnel, as shown here, makes the job much easier. After running the engine for a short 30-second sprint to make sure the oil is good and lubricated, we turn the engine off and we check the fluid level. Simply pull out the dipstick when it's clean and check the level such that it's between the low and the high marks, the two dots. Most people are most comfortable running it near the high mark. Finally, let's reset the trip button. First, turn on the vehicle by pushing the on button twice and push the trip button until it says trip A. Then you can turn off the car with the start button. Now we will hold the trip button down and turn the vehicle on again by pressing the button twice. It will be successful when you say multiple zeros on the screen and re service reset complete at that point. You can simply press the start button uh, a final time and you're complete. Good job to Phil, the videographer Tom, and the editor David.